Okay, Chrissy here from popculturemadness.com. Can you introduce yourself to our site? That's okay. Hi, I'm Dominique. I'm from Stolen Babies. You look absolutely stunning tonight. I love the makeup. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I refreshed it a little bit just before this interview. I cheated. Oh, well, it looks great. Post show <laughs> waterfall of makeup. But <laughs> so, how would you say the crowd was here in Philly? This is my favorite show so far. I, I it was um was good. I liked it. You know, this I think the nature of this tour and a lot of the tours that we do sometimes it can be a little maybe confusing for people or we might seem a little bit off for the bill. But tonight was really fun, really fun. From what I saw down there, everybody was dancing and jumping around. It looked like they were having an absolutely fantastic time. Yes, I had a lot of fun up there tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are still touring behind your album, Not. And the, you know, how happy are you with the success that that's had? Oh, great. I mean, you know, it was our first album after a, a hiatus and we didn't know how people would react to it or if people even remembered who we were. And it's been very, very touching. The, the old fans coming back, the new fans, very positive. Yeah, we're happy. So are you guys currently working on anything right now? Yes. As a matter of fact, we, we didn't plan on touring until March, but then when this tour came up, we just couldn't turn it down. Uh, we are in the middle of working on new songs, and we're itching to play them and record them, too. Yeah. Nice. Can you tease us a little bit in the direction that you're going? Uh, it's so difficult to say. I guess it, the way I would describe it right now, the new songs that we're working on, they're just more, they're, they're fun. They remind me of some of my favorite songs that we have to play, like um, an old song of ours, Awful Fall and Mouse Food, and just like more uh, quirky in, in nature, in their nature, you know? So, and then down the line, we also have a kind of a throwback of our old incarnation, the Fratellis planned. So we have a couple, two different things planned, but not, they're not going to be the same recording. I don't think. Who knows? But that's, <laughs> that's the plan is to have two de two separate things. Yeah. So are you guys a band that can write on the road, or do you kind of have to take some time away from that to, to focus strictly on the creative process? Well, uh, Ronnie and I can write on. I like the space when, when I can get headspace, or just sitting in the van and staring out at the road going by. It's a nice peaceful place for me to have ideas and also just being out there in the world I get a lot of I get the, the juices going in my head as far as jamming no we can't jam the songs out there's just no time uh, we barely get a sound check and I, I think it would be kind of rude to like all right can we just write the song right now all right yeah just like a jam for like the openers but we're just gonna take the liberty of just getting into it yeah but um so not, not to jam it but definitely to get the gears going yeah sure so after this tour wraps up, what are the immediate plans for you guys? That new stuff. Yeah, the thing that we were going to do if we hadn't <laughs> been asked to be on this tour is uh, write, jam. It's a little difficult for me because I live uh, up in Oakland and the guys are in Los Angeles. So I travel back and forth all the time. And uh, yeah, because I can write, we can write separately, but it all comes down to playing it together. So, yeah. So on a personal level for you, when did music first begin to speak to you? When did, I'm sorry, when did what? Uh, when did music first begin to speak to you? I've always been musical. Um, you know, I sang to myself when I was a kid. I've always been an escapist and music, oh, is this going to be okay? Sorry. Um, music has been a big part of my life for as long as I can remember. I've always been musical. Yeah. Do you have a musical moment that stands out or a pivotal, like a very important show that you attended, like when you were younger, that will always stay in your memory? Ooh, yes, but it's hard to think of because my memory is so clouded now by playing shows all the time. Um, there's a, a band that Ronnie and I love, friend, and Gil loves too, uh, friends of ours. Um, there was a band called Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum and uh, they were magical. They disbanded, they're forming a new band, but um, th I remember some really amazing moments uh, seeing them, we toured with them, but that's not that long ago. I can't, I, there's more when I was a kid, but I apologize for my short-term memory. Um, you know what's gonna happen as I'm falling asleep tonight? I'm just gonna shout out the concert that I remember, and the guy's gonna be like, what the fuck? 
but um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's cool. I know that road life can be like definitely a whirlwind. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> So, in your opinion, what would you say would be the most misunderstood thing about Stolen Babies as a band? Uh, there's a lot. I don't want to like go for this of a misunderstood artist thing, but uh, especially because lately we've been doing so many more rock metal type shows, it can be, like I was saying earlier, it can be confusing for people because they are expecting metal and they see what we're doing and you know, three-piece bands are not a rare breed, but maybe in this kind of genre where you see bands that's like five people on stage. So first of all, there's just three of us. There's an accordion, which is not a traditional instrument for the kind of music that the bands that we play with do. I was careful how, how I worded that. Um, so there's just so many weird things for us. And uh, in the past, people would refer to us as maybe like avant-garde metal or dark cabaret. And the, the whole avant-garde metal thing I really tried to steer away from because avant-garde such a loose term that doesn't really mean, it means something, but it, it, the way it's being used is kind of touchy. And then metal, again, we don't want to tell people we're a metal band. So we have been misunderstood in the past, but I think it's, you know, we only have two albums. So we can't be upset about that. People will only take what you give. And so we have to put out more and hopefully people will get a clearer idea of what we are going for. Absolutely. I, for one, personally hate genres because I hate when an artist has to feel boxed in by that. And I think, you know, so much media is like, oh, it's got to be one, one thing or the other. And it makes you so angry. <laughs> and it's in it tends to be easy to succeed that way. You know, we're, we're not intentionally weird or trying, we're not trying to do something that no one else has done. We're just trying to play music and get gigs and do what we love and it's not really fitting exactly into one thing. We have a great booking agent, we have a great team behind us that understands that about us and we have wonderful fans who love us because of that. And that means a lot to us because it's not easy to not fit into a genre it's not easy yeah so how much has the uprise of social media been a tool for you guys i think it's helped i think it's helped everyone we're not super we're active on our facebook i have an instagram um we're not really bloggers so we don't uh we're kind of private people especially ronnie and i you know we're we're just weirdos that gravitated towards each other and I'd like to try to be more social. Unfortunately I've always been socially awkward in real life situations and, and the times that I've tried to get out, get out there and communicate with people I've found that I'm just as socially awkward. You know how some people like introverts maybe in person it doesn't quite work out but then online they can just open up. I was hoping that I would be that but I'm actually introverted online as well. So yeah, maybe a little little help with that. I don't know. I need some therapy or something. <laughs> How therapeutic is performing for you? That's, that's, that is the therapy. That's what it's all about. I was yeah. say, watching you and the rest of the band perform, like I would never guess that. You know? <laughs> we just, it, we love what we do. All, all three of us, performing is such a big part of who we are. Whether it's a hidden part of who we are, or we're just out there with it. It's so big, so huge for us. So I have to ask, when did you pick up accordion? Um, when I was a teenager, actually, we just had one in the house. Because my dad used to play. Not well, he took lessons and he just kind of had it. He wasn't, he stopped a long time ago, but it was there. And I just picked it up. He you know, had taken some piano lessons, so I was familiar with the keyboard. And I, like I said, I've always been musical. And I just played it and I started playing it in bands. And I, I found that it, it's the instrument I was most comfortable with playing on stage live in front of people. Now I'm in a band that does like heavy shows and it's you, you just make it work. It's like if you, you have to walk through the snow with sandals on, you just make it work and you find your own way. So. I was talking to, um, oh, what is the band, One Eyed Doll, and, you know, Kimberly was always telling me the same thing about how, you know, it's very hard for them to play. They get books with a lot of metal bands, a lot of hard rock bands, and they're very, very unique. And, in fact, she does the costumes and all that stuff, and, you know, it's always trying to bring something different to it. Hopefully it opens the people's eyes. Yeah. I think people are gradually getting more open-minded. I'd like to think that. Yeah. So are we going to see you guys at any festivals this summer? 
Nothing booked. Hopefully, I don't know, but there's nothing booked, nothing that I can announce right now. Nice. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking a few minutes out to speak with me as we are serenaded by Stone Sour. <laughs> but definitely enjoy the rest of the tour, and we look forward to new materials. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there any final comments you'd like to share with our site visitors? Thank you so much for being nice and smelling nice.